Hmm. Oh, oh, well, hello, everybody. Uh, now that I got your attention, <laughs> I want to talk about something that that has a little bearing on on uh, on on the way I look at life and the way often people uh, make up their videos. And I know who, yeah, Rocky's going to talk about videos. Well, anyway, uh, recently uh, on a couple of uh, channels of of some good friends of mine, they they put on. Uh, People that just seem to to rant and pre be preachy, and even some uh, people that you might even consider uh, soulless people that believe almost that they only they exist in the whole world as an extension of them. But what they fail to do, I think, and what a lot of us fail to do when we're making a video, is apply two philosophical rules. The one's called Occam's Razor, and the other is the Law of Parsimony, and they both do basically the same thing. And what happens is people get off on tangents or they just dribble, drabble, dibble, dabble and become awfully redundant. Now, what the uh, Occam's Razor and the Law of Parsimony say is that what we have to end up with and what we want to end up with are only the necessary but sufficient conditions to prove your point. Say I've got point A and I throw in everything from A to Z. Well, point C, F, Q, uh, w, Y, uh, may, ha may be the exact same point. Well, I don't have to say them over again. I've said the point already. Now, take B, C, D, uh, P, uh, T. Uh, they may have nothing to do with, with Proposition A, what I'm trying to prove. So what you want to do, and this is, this will help your thinking a lot. This will make, to me, will, uh, will be one of the clarifying points if you really uh, think about this in the process uh, uh, in which you think uh, for your whole life. What you want to do is you want all conditions that are necessary to your point. So that might be A, F, uh, G, and O. That may, may be the only ones. Well then those are the only ones you need. But then you have to say to yourself, are they not only necessary, see, are they the most efficient and necessary conditions for for proving my point? And that's all you need. Necessary and sufficient. So you take the law of Occam's razor. If you got A, B, C, and D, and B, C, and D have nothing to it, you eliminate them. They are they aren't conditions that help your argument. And you will eliminate tremendous amount of redundancy. And that's what a lot of these have. I know you say I go on and I dribble along, and often I do. I might take a sidetrack, say F, but it's only because I think F is a necessary condition for me to establish the the point I was making back in A. So I think, you know, and I don't want anybody to get upset because I put this comment on a number of pages today and talked and, and wrote to, to a number of people about it, that these two principles the Law of Parsimony and Occam's Razor will help you think in your thinking process a tremendous amount and that they will they'll make your 10-minute <clears throat> video down to a 4-minute video and people will not only appreciate the lack of redundancy but they'll also the point will become much more concise and direct and, it, and it'll be uh, much more appreciated and, and it'll be uh, uh, a much more uh, intellectual. So I want to thank you, and and, and this really uh, is is it's neither necessary or sufficient, but I I mentioned it in so many different videos today uh, that I thought I should explain what the, the law of parsimony and Occam's razor are, and and hopefully that when I don't apply them, uh, hopefully come down on me like an avalanche. But this really has no no reflection on on uh, on any particular videos. Uh, it's just a, a suggestion and that listen I love dearly every one of you uh, no group of people has ever treated me as well as you have uh, and I think that uh, the, in this community we have to accept the uh, sometime not so flattering comments as well as the flattering ones and for the most part I try to leave flattering ones but yeah, this old fool can help himself when he's when he thinks he sees he sees something that uh, violates either the law of parsimony or Occam's razor. Many thanks for your time.